composing functions. Let f of x and g x be two functions. The composition of f and g denoted f or g. The function defined by f or g of x, which is f of the input g x. As you see the diagram, you're starting with the input here, that's step one, as the input of the g to get the second layer, and then whatever the result as a function of the g is used as the input of the function f. Let's see the example. Consider the two functions, f of x equals 1 over x, g of x is x plus 5 over 3. We are going to find f or g of x or the composition of f and g, and then find its domain. The f of g of x is the same as the f of the input gx. The gx is the function x plus 5 divided by 3. Now we use the x plus 5 over 3 expression as the input of the function f. From the given function f, the input is x. We're going to do the reciprocal of the input. Right now, the input of the function f is the expression x plus 5 over 3. When we use this input, the function f will give us the reciprocal of the input, which is 1 divided by x plus 5 over 3. And then we write it as 3 over x plus 5 for the result of f or g of x or the composition of the function f and g. Next, we're going to find the domain. The domain of the composite function is kind of tricky. Um, I'm going to use the term like domain of f or g is the domain of the input intersection with the domain of the output. The input, the very, very first input is, is from the function g. So this is the input of the function g. That means we're going to look at the domain of the function g intersection with the domain of the output. What is the output? Output is the end result. So this is the output. This is the domain of 3 divided by x plus 5. With this setup, we just look at what is the function g. The function g is x plus 5 over 3. It is the Actually, this is the linear function. So the denominator is the constant term as we can rewrite it as the x plus five over three is one over three times x plus five over three. That means this is one of the polynomial function. Domain of the G is a set of our real numbers. Now we do the intersection with the domain of three of x plus five or the output or the result of the composition, it is the rational function, the denominator in terms of the x. The denominator cannot be zero. We make a note that x plus five cannot be zero. Therefore, x cannot be negative five. So the domain of the output is going to be anything except negative five. So we write it in this way. So we're going to find the intersection part of the, the set of our real numbers and the portion that's on the left side of negative 5 and on the right side of negative 5. When you do the intersection of the set of our real numbers and the, num and the set that accepting negative 5, we're going to go with the one that's omitting the value negative 5. So we're going to take this one. And in summary, so the domain of the function f or g is the set of x that x is not negative 5, or write in the interval notation form like this. In the next example, if the two functions f of x is square root of x plus 3, the g of x is 3 plus square root x, we're going to find the composite function of f and g at 1. We write the f composed with the g at 1 
as f of g at 1. So we're going to start from the input, which is the g at 1, or 3 plus square root 1, or 3 plus 1, which is 4. Now we're going to replace this g at 1 as 4. And next, continue with the function f of the value 4. 4 as the input of the f. The function f is square root of the input plus 3. Going to be square root of 4 plus 3 or square root 7. And we are done for this problem. In this example, given the following graph of two functions, and then find the f of g at 4. Let's start with rewriting the composite function in a term of f of g at 4. With the input g at 4. The g is the red graph at 4. The g value is negative 3. The expression can be written as f of negative 3 at this step. Then we're going to look at the graph of the f, which is the blue graph. At negative 3, the function value of the f is negative 1. So I'm going to make a note over here. Then the result for this problem is negative 1. 